Welcome back to the Tidy Room Hangar. This is Mike, and today I want to talk to you about the Magic Square MS B37A and the B38A. This is the Shovel Master and the Roller Master. Their take on G1 Esque Legends Devastator. It's time for me to upgrade from my Hulky, I guess. And this set is allegedly their metallic repaint, is what I'm hearing. I don't really see exactly uh, it in the description or anything like that, but they look very similar. We're going to talk about this. I did get this to show you. I'm going to have a link down below. All three sets are available to order or pre-order at Show Z. And so, of course, we're going to be building Devastator. That's the ultimate goal in this. But let's take a look at these guys. Coming up. Here is the packaging. Very semi-G1-esque with the purple grid in the background. It looks kind of cool. Uh, some artwork in the front. Some artwork on the side. And different artwork different character on the side and you get like a cartoon looking background and you get some tech specs okay so this does come in a set of two figures i'm gonna kind of work through this stuff as quick as possible because there's a lot of steps for transformations and they're technically triple changers so you got to keep all that in mind but looking at them i think they look great so their bot modes look good overall and that's fantastic. And they're all modes going to look good, but the combined mode is what I'm most concerned about. And, of course, that has to look good. So, with it, they are definitely an upgrade from G1. And the designs themselves, there's pluses and minuses. Uh, we'll just kind of look at each one real fast and then move on uh, with it. So, let's start with the Mix Master here. And I think that he does look pretty good. So, I mean, overall, let's go ahead and do the positives here uh, in his face. I mean, there's not much you can really do with the face. And I think you get an extra face for one of them, and then you get an extra head for the other one. So, I'm not even going to really mess with that. I'll show it here in a second. But a little bit of paint. And then Magic Square's not known for paint. They're known for design and no paint. And I was hoping this one would get a good paint job. I doubt we're going to get a full set of this with a really shiny paint job. So, this is probably as good as it's going to get. From magic square my negative on this of course the feet there's really you don't see them I'm, I'm wondering if there was a way that they could have done something where the foot would slide out a little bit more but this lower leg thing going on here i mean it's just probably a necessary evil just hiding the engineering in the lower leg and stuff but it would have been nice if the foot would have come out just a little bit more than that i, I don't like that i don't like that on fan Toys thomas i don't like that on this but Really, that's the worst part, but it, he is solid. He stands well, so that's kind of good over here. This adjustable barrel, it's kind of interesting thought process of adjustable barrel for the transformation, all that. So I thought that was kind of cool, too. And then, yeah, he looks pretty good overall. Uh, and then we'll, we'll do articulation on one here in just a minute. But, uh, well, I guess we'll do articulation on him. They're about the same. Maybe not exactly the same, because, of course, you can't really get to his head that much, but out to here just basic everything you'd expect you know just nothing really all that great not nothing with the hand waist does this one have a waist swivel yeah and then an ab crunch the typical ab crunch kind of stuff you see little tiny hip flap yeah everything you'd expect with a legend scale is it a double jointed knee it looks double jointed yeah so but Bot mode is great. I don't know a whole lot of people that are going to do the bot mode. I think 90% are going to do combined mode. So let's go ahead and take a look at the other guy. All right, let's get him to focus. So his head, you can do side to side, up and down a little bit. And so nice and independent movement there. A lot more paint on this one than that one, if you can see. Uh, the character, I guess, justifies it for whatever reason, needs it. But and then this big old thing hangs around on the back. That's uh, part of the character. Too, but I mean, he looks good. And so this one, the lower leg looks a whole lot better. I, I, I like that. And then, uh, but I don't think you get quite the range with the ab crunch, and I don't know why. So that's a, a real difference with the articulation on them. Now, this one shows the improved paint. This is the metallic look right here. And I'm sure you're going to see that when it's in the combined mode, there's going to be a big difference. This is nice and smooth too, so. But that's a nice... Pretty nice looking silver paint on the leg. Now I've checked out a couple of videos and some pictures online. And I was trying to figure out with the first run, like what is the difference? I don't even think the green is any different. I think it's the exact same green. I can't tell. I was mean, trying to figure out differences and it's really hard to tell. This is the only real difference I was able to lock down when it comes to these. But 
Okay, so let's get into real quick some weapons and accessories. All right, if I can get it to focus, I don't know why it's not going to focus. This is his gun. It just it, it comes with a gun for him, and then he gets a gun. So there's really not much to the accessories, and then we get this other little baggie of accessories. The more we play with it, the more I'm probably going to figure out what exactly this is for. I'm sure, I mean, I know it goes to Mixmaster, but I'm not exactly sure how to put it on or what it's, when it's supposed to be used, maybe in combined mode or something. Then we have this extra head piece and an extra face. So, not really sure what the whole point of all that is. Does this even go together? Something like that. So, goes to him. That's it. That's it. Accessory. That's accessories. All right, so for comparison here, this is what I'm upgrading from the Hulky, which actually, I kind of always thought the Hulky sucked, but the more I mess with them and this, Hulky's not really that bad, to tell you the truth, but this aesthetically is going to blow it away. But looking at all of this through here and just kind of seeing what's going on, this is the G1. You can kind of see how that looks for Scrapper and Motormaster and... Fun stuff. We're going to revisit this when we get to the combined modes, of course, but that's, in my opinion, like a where we were, where we're going kind of thing. A little bit better look at the G1, if that's something that you want. Yeah, looking pretty good. And I do want to point out that, like, like almost all Legends, almost all Legends, it's like 90% of them could replace your G1 figures. It's so strange. Like... Your G1 figure, it's slightly bigger than your G1, but if you're looking at scale-wise, most of Legends scale with G1. It blows your mind when you think about it. You're like, oh, they're so tiny, but yet they fit your G1 a lot of the time. Well, okay, 90 is probably too much. Maybe it's 60. I don't know. But this is another case where really close to G1 scale-wise. Megatron! There it is with Megatron and Optimus Prime. So this is the shiny EX. Now, I will get their 2.0 if they give me that level of paint. So if they give me that level of paint on the 2.0, I'm picking that one up for a 2.0 Prime with that level of paint. And then right here with this, uh, I kind of pulled the G1 version of Megs out because my display is angry at me for pulling Hulky out. It's trying to fall over and stuff. So I got to redo all that. But anyway, there is the comparisons. All right, so transforming this guy, there's a lot of steps. I'm not exactly sure that you're going to be able to skin this cat. A lot of these you can skin the cat multiple different ways. I don't think that's the case with this guy. So, let's uh, straighten his arms out and do the hands like always. It seems like always your hands are first. And now I'm wondering if you could, you have to like kind of twist them around or something to get the hands to work. And then same thing on the other side. Try, try to figure out a way to speed this, do like a speed transformation on this guy. So, lots of stuff to consider when transforming this dude, of course. Okay, so these tabs here seem to just kind of open up for me. Anyway, uh, let's get his arms straight and up so we can do all this fun stuff. We're going to lift this up like so and then we're going to move the arms to the back so that we can get the wheels out and then with that we're going to unfold the lower wheel and then rotate so same thing on the other side and then rotate that then we're going to looks like we need to bring this over like so and then we're going to open this up in the back and create an exhaust and then we have to bring in this into here now i'm not sure exactly this is one of those things, like, is there a, an exact pecking order that this has to occur or for it to fit right? Or am I bending past stuff a little bit, maybe? But it's working for me, so... There's tabs here to tab that in, so that's fine. And then we're going to tab this in right here. 
see that on this side and tab that in. Come on, right there. Flip the waist. So it's a lot of fun. And then that seems like a little short to me. Oh, because you have a chest extension. That did I extend the chest? But everything tabs in right, so. But it seems like this should be extended further. But I'll mess with that here in the, at the end. Okay. So we're going to lift up this tab. And so the waist tabs into this. And then so you should be able to get like something like that. A little, little more. Uh, little... This folds out. This folds back. Something along those lines. There we go. Like a fuel tank kind of thing, I guess. All right. Now we got to get into the front, which is crazy. Now maybe should, we should leave those down for now so we can get a little crazy with this so it's amazing how the whole pretty much the whole cab just condenses down into that foot so we just need to start opening up everything and getting this stuff started this is insanity uh, this side piece here there we go got that thing sort of I don't want to use the term broken loose but it's it broke loose Got it loose there. This should come up a little more than that, shouldn't it? All right. Okay, so I'm going to fold up. Okay, pull this forward, fold this up, and then this is gonna sort of come into place here. We need to fold out this piece and then this little piece here. And you're basically just building the cab at this point. This is gonna come down on top of this and this has to line up with that and then this is going to come down over this tab into here and into that and sort of make that cab piece and then we have the foot which is going to do its own crazy stuff so we are going to pull this out. Fold it around. Let's go at it from this angle here. Because this is going to fold around like this to fill the bottom of that. And then this is going... Okay, so this isn't really all that much fun. Let's undo that. We need to get this... Uh, piece in here first of all this needs to get folded in and then this all needs to come in which I wasn't getting that just right but this is a bit of a challenging transformation to tell you the truth I'm a little surprised it's so complex it feels a little unnecessarily complex but anyway let's get all that stuff folded into there to look like that wow um, now it's gonna look sort of like this and then there's a, it's strange, it's like a half of the tab tabs into this. It's not the whole tab, just half the tab tabs into that. So let's see if we can get this other side a little better than that. Wow. That's insane. Uh, truthfully. I've had, I've had some people warning me about this thing, but, uh, but in the end it's going to be worth it, right? So, wow. Quite an insane level of transformation for a Legends figure. You should, you're used to, I'm used to like, getting a break <laughs> when you do a legends it's like oh yeah it's not as bad as masterpiece but anyway okay so let's do the, all the same stuff over here and just sort of unfurl all this and take it apart and hopefully do it a little bit better fold this foot out a bit get that out of there and then open this up and then open this up and then this is going to need to come up this comes around to the side, lift the front windshield up. It's it's weird too, because it doesn't feel like, it feels like this should come up further, but it's, it's it doesn't because that other piece comes down. So that's another strange point of this. And then folding this around, this over to here. The foot's got to tuck in. And yeah, this is not intuitive at all. 
should feel more intuitive than this. Now, this is the part where I struggled on the other side was getting the getting all this in, getting the getting the thigh in there was my struggle on the other side. And so let's see if I do it a little easier on this side. Getting that thigh piece in there because it's it just feels like there's not quite the clearance. I think where my problem is, is trying to clear this piece over that. There it is. That's where my problem is. It's not pretty. Should be easier than this. But that's the way it goes. Let's get this piece here sort of out of the way. Yeah, that's not, that's not easy. I guess the second time was always a little, it's always a little easier the second time. It's like your first time every time with this transformation. Let's get this uh, squeezing together and stuff and then tab this in. This tab doesn't seem to want to half tab in that well either. But uh, but yeah, I mean, they're, we're pretty much there <laughs> with it. Wow. Let me uh, half tab these in and then we'll get on to the other one. All right, let's get into Scrapper. Let's make sure I got some space so I don't go off camera with them, but uh, lots of fun here. <laughs> lots of fun. All right, so we are going to do a lot of stuff with this guy. Let's first get the hand situation taken care of. So opening that up, sliding this out. Go that direction with it. It's already trying to be a problem. <laughs> All right. So you can push it one direction to kind of open this up. We push it the other direction to get it back. Then we need to get it sort of like this. And then we're going to pull all this up out of the way. Flip it around. Open the wheels out. And then we're going to fold up these little slots here. We're going to extend it. Just kind of did it on its own. Then we're going to have room to push this stuff down into here. Let's see. So we're, whatever way it goes in, it's supposed to have a tab to it. So you can see the tabs right there. So you got to turn this to accept the tabbing bit into there. So that's what's up with that. Then we can fold this over. Then we can fold this up to the top here. And then we're going to fold this all the way over and then tabs into sort of tabs into itself, lift that up. Right there. For now, then we need to tab the wheels in. Right there, both sides. Yeah, we're getting somewhere, right? Sort of, sort of somewhat getting somewhere. Now getting into the legs, uh, it's a bit of a mess. You just grab this and it folds down. And then we kind of grab at the bottom here and push here to open this up. There's the foot that swings around. Does some crazy stuff there. And then you can push that up with the foot being out of the way. That is insane. There's that. Then <laughs> we have all this. These are like the world's tiniest panel fillers. Just insane. That's insane. That little bit of panel filling. That is insane. Slide all this around. Bring it over here and tab all the panel filler stuff in. That is crazy. It's a lot. This is all going to come on over here in a bit. 
something like this. That's about where that's going to go here in a bit, but make sure we get the foot in the right spot and all this stuff's got to be in the right place. All right, let's get this other side done. That is it's a lot. <laughs> all right, let's try it again. And then I'll make sure everything's lined up just right, but fold that down, grab the bottom of that and then push in on that. And then rotate this foot and then you can use the foot to push this piece out a bit to come around, but I think the foot needs to stay out a little bit more than that. This is a we're going like so. And then unfold all of this here again in this piece. This piece trying to give me some trouble this time on this side. Come on out of there. There we go. And then it folds all the way around. Again, like so. Pass all that. Tabbing into this. Now we gotta mess with the lower legs. Make sure I have everything positioned right. So this is all gonna tab together. And I'm gonna look at this. I, I need. I think that yeah, it needs to look something like this. Let me double check exactly how that's supposed to look before we flip it over. All right. Well, we're gonna fold it over. Uh, the thing is, it just doesn't feel like. I mean, I've got everything lined up. What I think's right, but uh, there goes that one. And this in there one at a time. I can't seem to do two at a time for some reason. There's a hole and a notch. And that should go into that notch, but it's not working there either. Oh well. Anyway. I'm not exactly sure what <laughs> is going on on this. But this is supposed to tab into this. And just to get the clearance, it's just... It's a pain. It is a pain right here. I'm not sure what joint needs to get adjusted, but as I just keep messing with it, it will slide into place. Just something has to give on that one. I think I just struggle with the weird stuff. I think this needs to be pushed in more into that slot to get the clear. I think that's where I'm running into clearance issues is that piece. And then that has to go over it, which is, but then it's also supposed to tab into this here. Okay, well, I could be overcomplicating things myself too, so it's it's been known to happen. All right, slide that up, get that tabbed in if it tabs in, and then fold this down. And we're pretty much done with this guy. We're gonna clean him up just a little bit, but uh, yeah, I think that looks pretty decent overall. But does it roll? <laughs> all right, we're gonna take a look at these alt modes here in just a second. I wish I could say it was fun to get here, but it really wasn't that much fun to get here. But here's your alt modes. I think they both look pretty good in their alt mode. And I'm gonna show you some, what, what we need to do with that here in just a minute. But uh, yeah, they, they get the job done. They look good. Not much paint on them, except there's more paint on this one in the alt mode. So I guess all they have the same number of paint apps, but these just show up in the alt mode better. But let's just take a look at Mixmaster first real quick here so take a look at mix master he's looking pretty good overall i think i think that he did work out very well they both roll pretty well now one thing that i noticed about this is that you untab this and then extend it and then tab it in over here which is brilliant so that's what that's all about so that looks better because that does look better now I was gonna try this little piece here. I still don't think it's really for all mode. I think it's more for combined mode, so. But you have this little piece here. So if the whole thing can untab, like this whole thing can untab, then you can put this little thing here on it, which would be a combined mode look, I'm sure. So I'm just, I've been trying to figure out how to use this little piece here, but we'll see when we get to combined mode, but still. Options for your figure in the alt mode, and it looks good. And checking this guy out, there's not much to say about him other than this part here was kind of hard to make it look 
perfect. That's nice and flat in the back. Uh, the way the feet were. I, I, I was thinking that I had the feet wrong, but it was more of how I had the panels. These panels, I guess. So, anyhow, this uh, crane, or this piece here goes up and down. Articulated. There's some articulation there, and I think this is even on a slider. Looks like it's on a slider, but it's not sliding. Anyhow, it's, it gets a little bit of stuff done. It's pretty cool. And it rolls real, surprisingly well, like really well. And uh, yeah, it's actually a pretty good alt mode uh, once you finally get there. But we won't be there very long. Let's do some comparisons. Here we go with versus G1. And G1 did not win. It's not the G1. It's the G1. Okay, anyway. I was trying to figure out how much I paid for this, and boom, 10 cents at a garage sale. Sweet. You can probably still find them for that price these days. Uh, let's compare these guys. So, to the G1, and you know, one of the things about the G1 figures is that they did look good in alt mode for the most part. They, that's where I think they shine is in alt mode still, and so that's a good looking alt mode. This actually still beats it because of course the sophistication of the engineering and all that but let's get into some other comparisons i right, get some size this is iron factory racing bros and uh, i think that's a is that a new age an old and new age yeah something like that all right now for the leg mode we've got a bunch of stuff to get to working on here and yeah, so we're going to open that up and we what we're going to do is expose the foot for what it is, it's another tab. So we have to fold this whole foot assembly out and rotate it around back again. And then we can close that back up. It's funny because that just hides itself. And there we go. And uh, kind of speed this up. We're going to do that on both sides. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fold this down. And this is going to give us more stability here in a bit when we, when we are working with this. We're going to do more stability. It's great. It's good stuff. But we want to get this all turned into a better... A much better foot so we've got to get the arms out and uh, so untab this and move these out of the way get the arms out of here and they're going to come down and then it, we probably need to get this done too but let's get this here and so what's gonna happen with the arms is you're gonna get that tabbed into place there then this is going to come back down and hold it in place also. And then this is going to go to the back like so. So we're starting to see the foot and the positioning and it's all designed for strength. So that's, I guess that's part of why the engineering is so kind of crazy on this is for the strength of this. Cause you, your, your legs gotta be strong. You, they gotta hold it up and it's like a bunch of small little tabs to tab it all in to get it strong enough. Now we got to deal with this front piece here. So what we're going to untab all this, bring it up and then we have to get this. It's not wanting to work. Okay. We're going to have to move this forward to where it's going to be in position and it's going to tab into here. Like that. So now, as you can see, you got it tabbed in like that. You can see that it's already starting to hold. This is going to support quite a bit of weight. So that's why it's got to be in there just right. Then we got to tab the whole mechanism back into it, which is good. Next, we're going to fold these in. And what this is going to do is offer up a little bit more stability to it and 
got to get them in there lined up and tabbed in just right so keep those tabbed in this tabbed in and then I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up but there's a notch here and a slot right there and those will connect really well Let's see if I can that didn't help me get any better look at it but I can see it anyhow messing with that kind of squeeze it in just a bit just to make sure but I, I've got it in place I, I don't think I got that on camera the actual tab in there but that's where yeah, that goes and then we are going to fold this over now here's what why we pulled the feet out was because you've got notches here and you got tabs right here so we're gonna fold this over and we're gonna make sure all that gets in good and tab in for extra support right there and right there and then as you can see it's got its ankle rocker and all that kind of stuff in there but it's going to hopefully hold the me push in on that ab give it a little bit more strength and there it is all right deconstructing this guy motor master let's go ahead and pop that off and then we have to untab the tank portions split this back up and then this is on a slider now i never really had to slide it that far for uh unhook that didn't have to slide it too far to get it into this mode but that's a slider and it's not an easy slider it's not an easy slide so let's get all of this kind of spread out of the way here so we're going to re transform all of this which sucks that it's a thing that we do but uh, we're going to get this foot out in front of here which is one of the goals here in this let's get that foot out there and then redo this Now there's this tab right here, and this doesn't want to go past it, so you kind of still you have to kind of break that apart to get the ability for clearance to move past it. I, because this sliding piece, you have to slide it. That's what that's all about. So then you can slide it back in. That sucks, but anyway, easy. Put it back together. Hopefully the other side, I can make it look a lot easier. I don't think I can make it any of it look too easy, but <laughs> fun stuff. So the goal here is to, the end game is to have this as a brace on the bottom. So we're going to have a the front foot as a brace and this as a brace. we got to fold this fuel tank piece to the back and tab it in. Kind of easier to just go over the top. Duh. Have that in. Get that out of the way. And then we'll have this side pretty much done. Then we're going to move over to the other side. Let's try to get the other side done just a little bit easier. So um, let's see here. So sort of this is what we're wanting. Going off camera there. This is what we're wanting and this is what we're at. That's pretty much in a nutshell so okay so let's get back over here to untab this uh, pull this slider this piece out on the slider oh there it goes it's getting a little bit of give on the slider there so that we can do a few things we want to pull the foot out flip it around and have that ready to go with a foot. Now we want to, while the slider piece is out, we want to get everything past where it needs to go past. So this piece here, and while it's slid out, 
on the slider. It does feel like you kind of have to bend it just a little bit though, still. Even though, okay. And then this is going to be down on the ground, more or less. And let's go ahead and close this guy back up and then we'll straighten out the, the hip, the thigh and all that kind of stuff. So that's back to the way it sh should be. And then this, take this down, flip this tank over around to the back, and then we're going to start getting it pretty much lined back up to how it should be. And then it's starting to shape up, starting to shape up. Lift this up. Now this is going to go into here. Now there's also, I believe, like right here, this is supposed to be weapon storage, so um, this is also going to make the weapon, it's going to make it more stable. So I guess we'll go ahead and do that. See, I'm just afraid, afraid, that we are going to, uh, it's going to get lost. You know, something's going to happen, it's going to somehow get lost, but that is tiny. Let me get one tab in. Okay, I tabbed one in off camera because it's just easier. That's just the reality of life, but uh, I don't want to lose that thing, so. So then we have to put this notch here into there. Let's get it all aligned right. And that into that, so. There we go. And... And lastly, the fuel tank. Do you want the big one or the baby one? Let's just try the baby one and see. How does the baby one look? Can I have it in there? <laughs> That's crazy. Or have it in there. Does that fit? It looks like it would fit. Baby fuel tank. Big fuel tank. I don't know, I think I might still like the big one better, but it's still nice that they threw that option in. So here they are in their leg modes, so each one's going to have their own little bit. You're going to have to pop that open to slide the leg piece in, the thigh piece in, and then up here, there's going to be more to do to get the thigh piece in there. But uh, but for for now, I think, yeah, you just little literally slide it in right there and pop this back over the top. So, uh, But for now, this is how they're going to sit until I'm finished with the other two reviews and piece it together and build them so we're going to get some quick comparisons but they look good i think i didn't push this into place in the transformation i mean heck the transformation is already long enough so what are we going to do here it is next to the g1 and i hated the g1 combiner in combined mode because it's just it, it's a break with arms that move and so I'm going to be really happy to have, well, I already have one that's articulated, but to get another one that's articulated, but uh, that's how that looks versus the G1. And then we're going to bring it in next to Hulky. And here it is next to Hulky. So you're not going to see the whole Hulky until we see the whole comparison. So there it is. Um, there are some aspects of it that are better. I like the green on this better than the green on this, but that's just my personal preference. But the design of the Magic Square, of course, that's where it's going to win. So that's my look at the Magic Square MS B37A, B38A. I wish I could say that it was a quick look, but these seem to be very uh, involved. I heard people say they were involved, and I just thought, oh yeah, whatever. They're not that bad. They're, they're legends. But they there's a lot to it. There's a lot to it. And for better or for worse, but... Uh, at the end, it's going to be a really nice combined mode because I've seen it and uh, whenever I see, I've watched a couple of comparisons and at the end of the day, the Magic Square se one seems to be the best looking overall, but uh, we'll see and I might even pick up a New Age set because New Age sets are getting a little cheaper, but I did get this at Shozy. I'll have a link down below where you can get yours. This one was like 68 bucks for this set, so... Short math, seven times three. It's going to be about $200, $210 combiner. But let me know what you think about this in the comments below. I'm going to have a link so you can get it. Like, subscribe. Tadirim here, out.